so the next one here, the last story. This is from the Gray Zone. A leak reveals a covert U.S. plot to destabilize Bangladesh's politics. This is from Kit Clarenberg and Wyatt Reed at the Gray Zone. So the coup that just happened in Bangladesh, the overthrow of Prime Minister Shaikh Hasina. I didn't really follow too much. I saw when she left, she said that the U.S. Uh, was involved in her ouster. And of course, the U.S. is always, you know, has its hands all over the place. And um, when a foreign leader says that, you shouldn't just dismiss it out of hand. Um, but now we have some concrete evidence of U.S. involvement in these protests. Um, and it's very strange, like you just the, the different ways that the U.S. meddles in other countries. So I'm just going to read a little bit of this report. It's very long. I would suggest going and, and reading it if you want to really get the whole picture. Uh, leaked documents reveal that prior to the toppling of Bangladeshi Prime Minister Shaikh Hasina, the U.S. government-funded International Republican Institute, Institute trained an army of activists, including rappers and LGB, LGBTQI people, even hosting transgender dance performances to achieve a national power shift. Institute staff said the activists would cooperate to destabilize Bangladesh's politics. And they said that in a report to the State Department. Um, so uh, this is, uh, again, the International Republican Institute. It's funded by the federal government. It's board. It's like run by Republicans. And um, they receive money, I believe, through the National Endowment of Democracy, which is, you know, how the U.S., um, puts money into opposition parties and political action um, in countries where they, they don't like the ruling government. Um, so, and again, and they put together a report to the State Department saying that these people that they're working with are going to help destabilize Bangladesh's politics. Um, so again, there, there's lots more details here. Um, that's basically the the broad strokes of it. Um, and they spent millions of dollars on this. And, and you know, this is going back uh, to 2018, 2019. So it was kind of a long uh, buildup. 